Uh, speaking of the Venus Project, yes. um, we prioritize due to need. We turn out the food first, then medical care on vehicles. There's x-ray machines, they travel to poor areas where there's no hospital. Then we have ships called hospital ships. So we can anchor off the coast of Africa and treat the Africans right away, yeah. not two years from now. We put equipment, medical equipment on ships, trailers, and doctors travel like doctors without borders. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, if you've got a better idea, let's have it. I don't know what else to do. Okay. You're saying it's a technical pro uh, process. Everything is technical. What we need. You know, politics was great a hundred years ago. But politicians don't know how to do these things. They don't know how to prioritize things. Exactly. So we prioritize things not based on your religion or do you like the Venus Project, but everybody in the Venus Project that agrees with this direction, our priorities are based upon surveys, not frescoes, opinions about anything. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I have no power in yeah. the future. Yes. In the, in the society we wish to implement, um, some people would want or need drugs, and wouldn't those people suffer for yes, from their would. own abuse? Yes, they would. And would it be made av available to them? Yes, it would. It would. Yes. Okay. But you, you, you will, you will, if you see, we show people smoking cigarettes, talking, but then we show the human lung, the real film, mm -hmm. and it stretches when you, if you smoke a long time, it tears and then cancer to the cells form. Then the guy chokes, can't breathe. We show a guy dying, real, in a hospital, <coughs> trying to breathe. He's been smoking for 20 years. We don't say stop smoking. We show films of the results of a certain viewpoint. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. If you don't get it, you can still smoke if you want to. <laughs> okay, we don't but... order you not to smoke. If you try to do that, It'll go underground, people will smoke in the summer. If you try to ban religion, it'll go underground. Don't ban anything. But if you continue to smoke, you will die yeah. of cancer, if not immediately, a little later. Yes? What would assure self-control in people who are affected to drugs? Will we control them? No. What would assure their self-control? How, how can we be sure that they won't harm well, other if people? If they come over and say, I would like to try to give up smoking, then we will give them the best treatment we have up to now. That's but the there, best we can there are do. a lot of people that, that do drugs that want to get off and want help. It's, yeah. That's extremely expensive. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There's no room in the clinics for them. They have to wait in line. Yeah. We'd have all that available to trying to help no, people you can, all the time. You can yeah, smoke whatever you want to, but we do show films of the results, yeah. what it's doing to your body, not say, that's a bad thing. We don't say that. We know it is. Yeah. yeah. But if people would want drugs or need them, uh, they can have it them. Would, they can have they them. Can have but what makes but sure that they don't harm other people uh, when say, being affected? When being affected by drugs? They don't drive vehicles, they don't operate trains, they don't operate communication systems. That's the price if you want to drive. You can't operate things that people depend on because you're less competent. Exactly. That's right. You don't fly airplanes with a thousand bastards in them yeah. if you're smoking pot all day. Yeah. You know, we don't want to put you in a position to hurt other people. You'll understand that. Yeah. You say, but I want to fly airplanes. Well, then you're helped. Yeah. Yes, you're not hurt. You're not put in prison. Yes. Okay, you are helped, but what if you don't want help? Yeah. What if, if you, you, don't you don't want, want help, help, you go to a mental hospital. So yeah, they help you in whatever way they can. So it would if be you say, I like shooting people, what's the matter with it? Mm -hmm. I don't like them and I shoot them. Now, you, you can let that guy loose, but it won't work. Yeah. So you have to put him in an area that tries to work on him. Yeah. They try, they use the best methods available without a price tag. Mm -hmm. Our job is to help people come back to the most operant forms of behavior that benefit everyone, not a selected few. Can you understand that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. So, so I said the transition will be painful. I'm sorry about that, unless you have some other methods for affecting the transition smoother. And I'm sure we'll find other methods mm -hmm. while we're doing it. But I don't like the transition because it will be painful. Yeah. 
I wish I could use logic. And everybody says, yes, let's build the Venus Project tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be wonderful. Yeah. But you're not going to get that. Let's be real. I'm a dirty realist. You know what that means? Mm -hmm. yeah. I know that people can't make that step. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. yeah. And, and uh, we were... Oh, when I was in the Army, I changed top brass. Turned them around, too. Go ahead, read okay. on. Uh, my next question is uh, regarding competition. Um, okay. This society is based, based on competition. Yeah, and there would be some sort of com competition, we imagine, in the Venus Project. No. But when, no. when is competition harmful? When would you define it? Always. Yeah. Because when I was a kid, I used to build special model airplanes with <laughs> wings that would rotate. And I got the idea by, I dropped a piece of balls that would rotate it to the ground. Went forward too. So I gee, if I made S-shaped wings, maybe they can rotate and take off in shorter distances. So every time I went to a model airplane meeting, the normal people, normal means fucked up, I don't know if I got that across, <laughs> used to look at me and say, what the hell is that supposed to be? The normal kids used to build airplanes where you wind up the rubber propeller. They all looked alike. All the airplanes kids built were conventional. My stuff was always radical and different. Most of it did not work. Because when you step out from the norm, you're going to have to go through a lot of transition to make a helicopter. You know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't fly right away. Mm -hmm. They're in trouble. Mm -hmm. So my airplanes used to crash a lot, the models I built. So whenever I came to a model airplane meeting with my planes, the guys used to laugh. It was normal to their backgrounds. They said, what the hell is that supposed to be? They were all very different types of airplanes. So they used to, sometimes they beat me up once in a while too. And they make fun of me. But I did enough invention on my own to know that I had to go through a process, a lot of failure to get to a good plane. I found that on my own, but if guys, if I depended on what other guys said, that's a lousy design, and I wanted approval, I would do the same thing they're doing. So all of us want approval so we conform. So I bring up kids not to conform to, to our system, even our system. Say, see what you can do to make it better, always. We don't say you live in the best country in the world. We say we house more people than anybody. We provide medical care and food. We don't say the best country in the world. We don't, we don't use propaganda. Yes. Yes. I was wondering if you might say that something can be called healthy uh, competition. For instance, if you play a video game with one of your friends. Or sports, maybe. Or sports. And you know, not necessarily have this uh, negative uh, attitude. You know, you can uh, compete for winning in the video game. And it's, it's healthy. Is competition good? Anything about it? The answer is no. Here's how we replace it. Yeah. When you play tennis in the future, you play against yourself. There's an image of yourself, and you get better at it. You don't need to beat him. If you can beat him in tennis, maybe your coordination is better. Because as a kid, you would walked on a fence, and you developed your coordination. He hasn't, and he feels he lost the game. In the future, you'll understand he has a longer period of coordination training. Yeah. So if you run faster than me, I don't, I don't sit there sad. I understand that you've had more walking experience. You lived in the country. You ran a lot. So it's not, God damn it, I wish I could do what you can do. You can understand that. Yeah. Okay. So you don't get mad. Now, the most difficult thing to understand is jealousy. Yeah. 